again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and before I start this video I just really wanted to thank you all for the continued support. This channel has grown immensely over the last couple of days, I really can't believe it, already 62 subscribers and I'm glad you all are enjoying my content. This will begin a new series I'm doing where I will be demonstrating and showing you an old school exercise that you really don't see anymore in gyms or anywhere. Today I'll be talking about the swing bell curl. This was one of Reg Park's favorite exercises and one he attributed to the development of his very large arms. There are multiple ways to perform this, but I'll give you a couple different variations. If you have any questions, let me know either on my Instagram or down in the comment section. Before I actually show you how to use the swing bell, I feel I should clarify a couple of things. First of all, what is a swing bell? A swing bell is essentially a dumbbell with the weights loaded in the center rather than the outside of the bell. It can also be the weights can also be added to it, so you can add more tens, more fives, more twos. And traditionally in this pattern, you have the smallest weights on the outside and the heaviest weights on the inside. You see that across the board. It was typically used in the silver era from the 1920s up to about the 1960s, early 1960s. You see it in all kinds of magazines, different variations of it. And it came in the Big 12 set, the old weeder sets, any of those full body home equipment sets, you would have this. And what it would traditionally do would go in between an iron boot and you could add small weights to it to increase your leg training. You can also, however, uh, use it as a kettlebell or use it by itself as a swing bell. And that's what I'll be showing you today. Many of you may ask why you would want to use this. Well, it like anything else, it provides a novel stimulus when training body parts. You've never felt anything like this. If you use a barbell curl for 365 days out of the year, your body will become accustomed to it. And yes, you can continuously more add more weight, but that novel stimulus will be gone and you won't gain anything initially from that, which can hit you very fast. You can gain a lot from novel stimulus, doing something for the first time. You can gain a lot of strength. Um, size, mass, and you'll get experience as well, which I always think is great. I always think it's great to try new exercises, and this is certainly one of them. If you wanted to make something like this, you could easily do it out of a dowel rod or a PVC pipe. I've done both of those. They work great. But mine is an original York set that I received about three or four months ago during Christmas time. It's a wonderful set, and it works great. And it's essentially just a short bar with two end caps on the end and it requires a ton of stability to hold it on the outside. It's very comfortable, but it requires a ton of stability. You really feel it tax your forearms, and it's a different feeling from anything else you've felt before. I know that for a fact, because if you've never done this, the closest thing I could compare it to really would be a cable machine when you're gripping the outside and you kind of have to stabilize it. But even then, it's very different because you're also fighting against gravity here. So I would recommend doing uh, the swing bell exercise is definitely for bicep work. That's what I've been using it mainly for. Like I said, you could just use a PVC pipe or a dowel rod. And in the next couple of slides, I'll show you a different, a couple different exercises you can use with it and what they work and how to actually perform them correctly. So stay tuned. The two swing bell exercises I'll be talking with you all about today are the swing bell isolation curl and the bent over swing bell curl. The swing bell isolation curl is in many ways like an Arnold curl or your standard isolation curl that you would have one arm propped against the inner thigh and you'd be curling it up. The only difference here is instead of one arm you're using both arms and instead of a standard dumbbell you're using a swing bell. The bent over swing bell curl is a little bit different and the only person I saw use it during the silver era was Reg Park, but he claimed that this exercise in particular really helped him develop his peak to his bicep. I'm sure other silver era athletes used it as well, but who else do you need as inspiration to try this out yourself than Reg Park, Hercules himself? So in the next slide, I will show you all how to perform these two exercises. All right, everyone. So the first exercise I will be discussing today with you is the swing bell isolation curl. So to begin with, you want to be seated on either a small stool or a bench, and you'll have your feet wider than shoulder width and your toes pointed outwards. After that, you'll have the swing bell actually in between your legs, and you'll grip it with a supinated grip and place your elbows inside your inner thigh, about mid-thigh, and you'll have them pressed and tucked in there, and you really want to focus and cramp the bicep. You want to squeeze it together really hard at the top. These reps should be very slow and controlled. 
I like to do three to five sets of 12 reps is a good working range for me. I typically don't go too, too heavy, um, heavier than this, but you can see I'm shaking quite a bit. It, it's, it's quite a strange feeling. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before. And um, the stability you need to, to do this exercise with a lot of weight is immense. It's incredible. And it is a wonderful exercise that you don't see anybody else doing anymore. And it really works the biceps well. I love to do this exercise at the end of an arm day. Typically my working split right now is three days a week full body. But if I'm doing an arm specific day, I'll put this at the end of the workout just to really burn out my arms. And it's simply amazing. And I definitely recommend all of you give it a try. Okay, so the next exercise I'll discuss with you all today is the bent over swing bell curl. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying that I'm going to Snap City with this form, look at that arched back, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can tell you right now, I am in a very safe position. I'm not lifting this bell with my back, with my legs, nothing. I am, my back is in no danger here. I am simply using it to put my body in the correct position. In every piece of artwork, in every piece of literature, in all magazines, in all books, this is the way they have this form depicted. Your back arched like this and your legs as flat and as straight as possible. So the way you do this exercise is your feet are significantly wider than shoulder width. You can't see that here, but they are. They're significantly wider than shoulder width. They're spread apart. Your toes are pointed forward and your back is arched to pick up the swing bell to begin with. Your hands, again, are in a supinated grip and you are bringing that swing bell to your forehead this time and trying to keep your arms as straight as possible. You can see I'm not pulling my arms back and I'm also not pulling them forward too much. I'm trying to keep them as straight as possible and that is how you get that cramping effect in the bicep again, which is what you're looking for. You're really looking for that bicep to cramp up, to feel it, and once again this really hits your forearms and biceps hard and it's a great isolation exercise. This one I typically don't do as much as the seated variety just because I feel like it is a little bit easier to cheat with this version, but that being said, it was Reg Park's favorite, and he did contribute uh, this exercise in particular to his very large bicep peaks. He mentioned it multiple times in different magazines and in different workout bulletins he produced. So it is a, definitely a great exercise, and I would definitely suggest giving it a try if you already have a swing bell or if you're planning to make one, and why wouldn't you? Because it's an amazing piece of equipment, it costs hardly anything. So that's the second exercise. And that concludes this video. If you enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. If you are interested in any more content that I make, you can check out my Instagram at the official Vince Duranda fan page, where I post all things pertaining to the Iron Guru and the Silver and Golden Eras of Bodybuilding. I'm also an official ambassador of NSP, NSP Nutrition, which happens to be Vince Duranda's one and only supplement company. If you would like to purchase any of their high quality merchandise, any booklets, any supplements, you can do so and use my discount Vince10 at checkout for an additional 10% off your purchase. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.